Hello students. In this video, I will explain the method of solving the other problems in the exercise 5.1. See this question. Is the function f defined by f of x is equal to x if x is less than or equal to 1, 5 if x greater than 1, continuous at x equal to 0, at x equal to 1, and at x equal to 2. Here we have to check the continuity of the function at three different points that is at x equal to 0, at x equal to 1 and at x equal to 2. Now first let us take the given function. What is the given function? f of x equal to x if x less than or equal to 1, phi u if x is greater than 1. And let us check the continuity at the first point that is at x equal to 0. And first you have to evaluate the function at x equal to 0. Now at 0 how the function is defined? You have to see carefully how the function is defined. 0 means less than 1. When it is less than 1 it is defined as x. Therefore f of x equal to x when x equal to 0. That means x is 0 therefore what is f of 0? f of 0 is equal to 0. And find the limit extends to 0 f of x and say here limit extends to 0 f of x is equal to limit extending to 0 x because f of x equal to x because near to 0 how the function is defined x and which is equal to 0. Here you need not take extends to 0 plus and 0 minus because either it is slightly greater than 0 or slightly less than 0 it is defined as x only. So here when it is less than 1 function is defined as x. If x is slightly greater than 0 or less than 0, it is defined as x only. That is why let us take limit extends to 0 f of x which is equal to 0. And uh, limit extending to 0 f of x is equal to f of 0. Therefore, f of x is continuous at x equal to 0. Similarly, you have to check the continuity at the other two points. And again you take the given function f of x equal to x when x is less than or equal to 1, 5 when x is greater than 1. You take the second point that is at x equal to 1. And now x equal to 1, what is f of 1? f of 1 is defined as x only. So here up to 1 it is defined as x only. f of 1 is equal to 1. And find the limit extends to 1 f of x. Here near to 1 it is defined in different way that is why you have to take 1 plus and 1 minus and uh, limit extending to 1 minus f of x is equal to 1 minus means slightly less than 1 when it is slightly less than 1 a function is defined as x and uh, it is limit extending to 1 x that is equal to 1 and you take the right hand limit that is 1 plus f of x when it is greater than 1 1 plus means slightly greater than 1 when it is greater than 1, how the function is defined? 5. That is why limit extending to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit extending to 1 plus 5 and that is equal to 5. Here the left hand limit and right hand limit are different. You can see limit extending to 1 plus f of x is equal to 5 and the limit extending to 1 minus f of x is equal to 1 and they are not equal and therefore f of x is not continuous at x equal to 1. And uh, let us check the continuity at the third point that is at x equal to 2. And uh, what is f of 2? f of 2 is equal to 5 because 2 is greater than 1. And f of 2 is equal to 5. And the uh, limit extends to 2 f of x is equal to limit extends to 2 5 which is equal to 5. Here limit of the function is equal to value of the function. Therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to 2. And this is the method of finding the continuity of the function at the particular point. Now you take this question. Find all the points of discontinuity of f where f is defined by f of x equal to 2x plus 3 if x is less than or equal to 2, 2x minus 3 if x is greater than 2. Here we have to find the point of discontinuity of f. Now consider f of x, what is f of x? 2x plus 3 when x is less than or equal to 2, 2x minus 3 when x is greater than 2. 
and the given function is defined at all points on the real line and f of x is clearly defined and uh, now you take the real number c and uh, we will have the three different cases because uh, the function is defined in uh, two different way and there is a point where the function switch over and that you have to take it separately this is the method of verifying the continuity when the function is defined in different way in different interval and thus we will have the values of c either less than 2 or it may be equal to 2 or greater than 2 and that is three cases are c is less than 2 c is greater than 2 or c is equal to 2 and in all the three cases you have to check the continuity first let us take let c is less than 2 and uh, function is defined and when it is less than 2 how the function is defined 2x plus 3 therefore what is f of c f of c is equal to 2c plus 3 is it clear it's here f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 when x is less than 2 here c is less than 2 therefore f of c is equal to 2c plus 3 and you find the limit extends to c f of x limit extending to c f of x is equal to limit extending to c 2x plus 3 and that is equal to 2c plus 3 here also you need not take c plus and c minus because either slightly greater than c or slightly less than c both the cases it is less than 2 only and uh, when it is less than 2 function is defined 2x plus 3 only and therefore it is equal to 2c plus 3 and the limit of the function limit extending to c f of x is equal to f of c therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to c that means for all the real number less than 2 the function is continuous and uh, take the second case that is uh, c is greater than 2 what is f of c f of c is equal to 2 c minus 3 because f of x is equal to 2 x minus 3 when x is greater than 2 and the limit extends to c f of x is equal to limit extends to c 2 x minus 3 that is equal to 2 c minus 3 here limit extends to c f of x is equal to f of c therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to c thus f of x is continuous at every real number greater than 2 now let us take the third case that is c is equal to 2 when c is equal to 2 how to check the continuity just see here and first you have to find f of 2 f of 2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 3 see here f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 up to 2 that's why when it is 2 it is defined 2x plus 3 only therefore 2 into 2 plus 3 that's equal to 7 and find limit extends to 2 minus f of x 2 minus means slightly less than 2 when it is less than 2 how the function is defined 2x plus 3 and that's equal to limit extending to 2 minus 2x plus 3 and that's equal to 2 into 2 plus 3 that's equal to 7 and similarly you find limit extends to 2 plus f of x when it is greater than 2 how the function is defined 2x minus 3 and that's equal to limit extending to 2 plus 2x minus 3 and that's equal to 2 into 2 minus 3 that's equal to 4 minus 3 and it's equal to 1 and uh, limit extending to 2 minus f of x is not equal to limit extending to 2 plus f of x therefore f of x is not continuous or discontinuous at x equal to 2 here there is only one point of discontinuity that is x equal to 2 the function is not continuous and with this much i'll conclude this video and the and uh, in the next video let us continue with the other problem of the same type thank you